from the newsroom at news.com.au. Federal Education Minister Alan Tudge has been asked to stand aside while serious allegations raised by a former staff member are investigated. Mr Tudge and his ex-staffer Rochelle Miller have previously admitted to having an extramarital affair. But yesterday, Miss Miller made bombshell claims that the relationship was abusive. Here's the Prime Minister. I have discussed Miss Miller's statement with Minister Tudge, uh, who has refuted the claims that have been made, Mr Speaker. But given the seriousness of these claims that have been made by Ms Miller, it is important that these matters be resolved fairly and expeditiously. To this end, the Minister has agreed to my request to stand aside while these issues are addressed by my department through an independent and fair process. In other news, a lucky person in Western Australia has taken out the entire $80 million Powerball jackpot. It's the third biggest lotto win in Australian history. And in case you were wondering what the odds of a single ticket winning were, it was a 1 in 134 million chance. To the US now, the assistant director of the movie Rust has backed up Alec Baldwin's claim that he never pulled the trigger of the gun which killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Baldwin made the claim in a tearful TV interview which is set to air in the US tonight. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. no. I I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. Assistant Director Dave Hall has said through his lawyer that Baldwin is telling the truth, but the local sheriff told media that it doesn't add up, saying guns don't just go off. To sport now, basketballer Paddy Mills has won the Don Award, which is the highest honour in Australian sport. Here's what he had to say after the win. Look, I I never set out to to win awards like this. Um, I go about my craft as a a professional and learn ways to get better and um, do so in, in carrying myself in a way I think Uh, I can inspire others. Um, So being recognised in this way to me isn't about who I sit alongside, it's about how I can inspire others with my journey. Tennis legend Yvonne Gulagong Cawley was also a winner last night. She received the inaugural Dawn Award, which is named after Dawn Fraser. To Royal News, Meghan Markle has won the latest round of her privacy battle, meaning she won't have to face her estranged dad in a public showdown. The Duchess previously sued the Mail on Sunday newspaper over the publication of a private letter that she sent her dad, Thomas Markle. She won that case earlier this year, but the newspaper appealed the decision. However, overnight, that appeal was dismissed. And finally, Seth Rogen has revealed that he was high during the taping of the Adele concert special in LA. The comedian told Jimmy Fallon that he smoked marijuana before arriving because he thought it was going to be a private, intimate gig and had no idea it was going to be filmed. We pull up and we see cranes, camera cranes, there's drones flying around, there's an entire crew there. And I'm like, oh no, uh, we are at the filming of a television special, I think. (laughs) Um, We're on a television show. And I'm like, maybe it's not that big a television special. And then the first person I see is Oprah Winfrey. And I'm like, oh no, I think it's a big television special. (laughs) Oh yeah. Um, Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.